All You Need to Know, the Bloomberg Quint podcast that prepares you for the day's business. Good morning. You're listening to the Daily Morning Update from Bloomberg Quint and I'm Alex Matthew. Today is the 30th of June. Here's everything that you need to know. India is struggling to flatten the curve of the COVID-19 pandemic. The country added over 19,000 new cases of the novel coronavirus, taking the total tally to close to 5.5 lakh, according to the Health Ministry's update as of 8 a.m. yesterday. Meanwhile, the government last night issued guidelines for the second phase of reopening activities that had been barred to contain the coronavirus spread in the country and said educational institutions, metro rail services, cinema halls and gyms will continue to remain closed. The Ministry of Home Affairs issued detailed guidelines for what is being called Unlock 2. that will be applicable from the 1st of July after the first phase ends today domestic and international flights and passenger trains already operational in a limited manner will be further expanded in a calibrated way meanwhile in maharashtra where the number of cases is the highest the government in the state has extended the lockdown to midnight of July 31st That's according to an order issued by the chief secretary. The order said that concerned district collectors and commissioners of the municipal corporations in the state may enforce certain measures and necessary restrictions in specified local areas on the permitted non-essential activities and movement of persons. Today marks 6 months since the World Health Organization became aware of the novel coronavirus. and Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus who is the head of the WHO believes that the worst is yet to come given a lack of global solidarity some countries are experiencing a resurgence of cases and half the deaths are coming from the americas he said at a press briefing in geneva the WHO will send a team of researchers to china next week to study the origins of the virus In the other top news, India has banned 59 applications linked to China, including TikTok, citing national security amid a border standoff. The government invoked its power under Section 69A of the Information Technology Act rules of 2009 to block the applications, according to a Ministry of Information Technology press statement last evening. The statement said that in view of information available the applications are engaged in activities which are prejudicial to the sovereignty and integrity of India defense of India security of state and public order the blocked applications include tiktok share it me community uc browser and club factory for many of these india is their biggest market by consumer reach TikTok for example has its largest user base of more than 200 million individuals in India. In news on monetary policy, the Reserve Bank of India will conduct simultaneously sales and purchases of government securities under its open market operation program. It's been called Operation Twist as in the past and is intended to push up shorter term interest rates while pushing down long term rates. The RBI will buy 10,000 crore rupees in longer dated government bonds while selling an equivalent amount in shorter dated treasury bills. The auction will be conducted on the 2nd of July. In international news, Pakistani security officials killed four gunmen in Karachi as they tried to storm the stock exchange building with automated rifles and grenades. That's the worst terror attack in the nation's financial hub in 2 years. Balochistan Liberation Army claimed responsibility for the attack. In international markets, US stocks rose sharply after a report showed US pending home sales posted a record gain, exceeding all forecasts. The Dow ended higher by nearly 600 points, and that positivity is carrying the Asian markets higher this morning as well. with all three early risers posting gains of over a percent and with that it's over to Agam Akhil for the trade setup for the day in India 
Good morning, Agam. How are we looking today? Good morning, Alex, and good morning, listeners. The SGX Nifty futures is currently trending higher by 40 points, and we're likely to see a better opening this morning. We we'll start with earnings from Tata Steel, where its net sales declined 20% on a consolidated basis for the fourth quarter at 33,770 crores, but it also posted a net loss of 1,096 crores versus a net profit of 2,430 crores. Now, margins have also come off quite substantially, coming in at around 13.7% against 17.7%. The reported net losses were wider than expected. Net loss has also included an exceptional item of 3,400 crores for the current quarter. We move on to Raymond, where revenues dropped 29%, and the company once again posted a loss of 68 crores versus a profit of 68 crores. There was also a loss at the EBITDA level of 6.5 crores versus a gain of 167 crores. In terms of earnings today, we're keeping an eye on ONGC, Vodafone Idea, Godfrey Phillips, Dish TV India, among many others. Moving beyond earnings, Bharti Airtel's arms and extra data to raise $200 million from Carlyle Group, reports Bloomberg. We also have Access Bank, which will consider fundraisings on July 2nd. The board will explore options of raising funds by issue of equity shares or depository receipts, convertible securities linked to equity shares, including through qualified institutional placements. Parag Milk Foods is in focus as Venkat Shankar has resigned from the post of CEO with immediate effect. And an impact on COVID-19 from CG Power and Industrial Solutions. Significant impact has been seen in April and May, according to the management. Consequent to the above and non-availability of requisite level of working capital for the operations, the cash flows remain affected due to lower sales and it may be challenging to meet operating costs. Now, these are just some of the stocks we can watch out for as we move into trade today. But don't forget to go through our morning edition of All You Need to Know only on BloombergQuinn.com. Thanks, Agam. And as always, thank you all for listening in. That's all we have for you in this podcast. But as always, there's a lot more on the website, BloombergQuinn.com. So don't forget to check it out. This is Alex Matthews signing off. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed listening to All You Need to Know. Did you know that you can listen to this show on the IVM Podcast app? On the IVM Podcast app, along with this, we have a number of other shows which you think you'll enjoy. Listen to Cyrus Says with Cyrus Brocha as the host. Listen to Pesa Vesa with Anupam Gupta. The Scene and the Unseen with Amit Varma or Shunya One hosted by Shila Ditya Mukhopadhyay and myself. Check out the IVM Podcast app to get more talk content that you will enjoy.